Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry at Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slideshow for Friday, January 4th. Today I am back with my weekly check of the broad market. In last week's chart slideshow, uh, we basically talked about the broad market still being in a range, and uh, I said I was going to be looking at the small caps, the IWM, uh, to see if they could bounce off of support. And basically saying, didn't expect much in the first part of the week, uh, but thought the excitement may pick up a little bit is, uh, after we got past the New Year's holiday. Unfortunately, this isn't the type of excitement I was hoping for. When we look at the IWM, you know, we see that we were heading back down towards support. Um, we had the weaker than expected employment report numbers this morning, and we've got the break right here of these lows. You know, this is a level that acted as support here, acted as support here, and acted as support here. Um, so you would have liked to have seen that. Uh, you know, act as a rallying point. Obviously, that's not happening. We've still got an hour to go in the session, uh, but it would take a pretty strong uh, change of events for the uh, uh, IWM to retake that by the close. And if we look at the uh, short-term RSI, we see that it has moved lower, uh, but it's not quite at uh, oversold levels. Uh, we're getting close, but not quite there yet. Well, I usually focus on the daily charts. I did want to touch on the monthly chart here to look at the uh, longer-term action. Because as you can see, you know, we had been this fairly strong uptrend on the IWM. Um, we've kind of had this little bit of a rollover here, and you know, if you sort of connect these lows here, um, you know, basically we're starting to potentially break that uptrend. Um, it's not exactly a, a what you want to see in terms of bullish behavior. Uh, the thing to keep in mind right now is we are, I'd say, we're breaking the uptrend. But we have yet to determine whether this is a consolidation, sort of a sideways move, or actual rollover. Um, it's a little early to, to tell that. And since we're talking about the monthly chart, this is something that's going to take you know several months to play out. But I want to kind of plant that seed that this is something to start keeping an eye on. Jumping back to the shorter term view, we've got the SPY, which tracks the S&P 500. Um, here we do see a breakdown here. We've been talking about this little consolidation. Um, that's been broken to the downside, however. We're still above the August lows, so you know we're we're in that regard. We're still inside this trading range, so that's a point to keep in mind. And when we turn to the Nasdaq Trust, uh, we see we're more or less flirting with these recent lows and still well above uh, the lows from August. So again, as far as what to look at next week, we've got the SPY and the cubes um, testing near-term support, but they haven't yet broken. So it'll be. You know, kind of interesting to see in the coming week whether we see a bounce back in the small caps or whether we see confirmation of the breakdown. Uh, for now, you know, the SPY and the QQQ Q are still uh, holding in their ranges. So that's what I'm keeping an eye on. As always, stay tuned to the blog for further updates and have a great weekend.